Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking foot birthday and Thursday flipping investments today on the channel. You guys wanted a video about Thursday flipping, you've been asking me for it, and I wanna re start returning with these videos because Thursday flipping has been very successful for the, for the past couple of weeks now. Um, it, it, this is kinda how it went last year as well. We did it in the first half of the year, it was okay. Second half of the year, it actually turned up and it was really, really effective uh, in the second half of the year when there's less people on the game and there's more special cards to kind of look through and to kind of, you know, monitor each and every week. Now that we have so more, many more special cards in the game, that just allows more cards to choose from. And it honestly has made um, investing weekly flipping in the second half of the year a lot better than the first half. So. It's been really it's been really good. And I want to talk about this week how it could be a bit different because we're heading into an upcoming promo, which we know is Foot Birthday. We are guaranteed that promo this weekend according to the loading screen that you just saw when we logged on. Uh, so that's going to really, really impact what we're looking at for Thursday flips this week. Last week was a pretty awesome week of Thursday flips for me. I mean, I probably I had like 10 million coins last week at this time when I was liquid, fully liquid, and I put about seven mil of them into Thursday flips. I mean, I was flipping, I flipped icons last week. Um, you can basically flip on a good week when we you know, aren't expecting a promo or we don't have a loading screen right away. You can flip a lot of cards and from basically any price range, especially with a lot of people being on the game right now and playing FIFA, because a lot of people being locked in, a lot of people being indoors, um, inside, not being able to leave. It's an ideal time to be doing this kind of trading on foot. But this week, with the upcoming promo, I want to talk about a few types of cards and where I do think Thursday flipping could work, but also what you have to be really, really careful for. And we'll talk about some stuff that you could get into in terms of uh, what kind of like price range we're going to want to look for when we're flipping some of these cards this week week for Thursday flipping. So you're going to see a lot of different cards on my transfer list right now. I've been watching a lot of icons, a lot of, you know, future stars, man of the matches. Some of these man of the match cards like that Rebich for 82k, that was a fantastic price. This is the first type of card that I'm going to talk about this week. When you're looking for Thursday flips this week, what kind of cards do you want to buy? And and think about it this way, basically who's going to be building teams this week? When you're thinking about Thursday flips, we're we're investing in cards before weekly rewards come out, cards that are out of packs, cards from previous team of the weeks, previous informs or, or special cards, we're investing in those because people get their weekly rewards, they open them and they build teams. Now this week with a promo coming, I'm sure there's a lot of people that will save their rewards, but there's also always a large amount of the casual player base that still opens their rewards even though a promo is coming just because they see packs and they can't control themselves and they just open them. That's just kind of how it works. There will be people that open their awards this Thursday. We've had promos in the past where we think everybody's saving their packs for this promo to open them those on Friday. So we're not going to see a rise of weekend league. We end up being wrong. And th that might deter some people from investing in weekend league flips this week, Thursday flips. And that could honestly make Thursday flipping better when you have less people trying to sell on top of each other on certain cards. Uh, that's kind of how it works. You, you have more rise in the card because the people that are actually going out and buying that card, uh, there's just more straight up demand for it. And there's less people trying to undercut uh, over top and, and undercut each other and pile that on top, that supply of people trying to flip the card when it should be going up in price, if that makes sense. Um, so this week, what I wanna look at is the lower tier. I'm, I'm talking under 250,000 coins, and my only exception to that would be out of packs, middle, and baby icons that are very usable. Like last week, I flipped the middle Makalele, middle Essien, these would be cards that if you saw them at the right price, I would be a fan of flipping them. This Makalele earlier today was like 397. If you see this guy at like 380s, like I sold him at 440,000 coins. That's a nice 25, 20, you know, 25, 30K card. If you buy him at 390, you can sell him at 450 on Thursday mornings. This is a card that a lot of people want to go out and buy. Even though the mid icon SBC is out, I still believe that it'll be people wanting to get onto cards like these. So if you look at some baby icons, Verone was another one. I actually uh, flipped Prime Verone last week because um, still a lot of people are buying this card because of the because of the Copa Libertadores. Wow, this card is in, 
up in price. Last week, I think I bought him for 400K and I sold him for 450. Looks like right now he's 450. So if maybe if you see this guy in the lower 400s, there's still a lot of people that are using Comedy Bowl Libertadores cards. And this is a card you need Argentine icons to link a lot of those to get them in their teams. Um, and a lot of people are still using those cards. So icons are, you know, the only other card that I would I would suggest maybe trying to flip this week. But make sure it's like a cheaper one, right? Like maybe a moments card, possibly. Uh, but I would really focus on if you're going to try icons on a higher tier budget uh, that you would go with, you know, guys that are out of packs, the baby and the middle icons that a lot of people like to use popular nationalities. Uh, maybe like Guardiola even. I don't know if I don't know if he goes up in price much. But maybe like mid Guardiola is somebody that you could flip. He's not very expensive, you know, 250 ish. You know, maybe you can find some 220, 230. I really don't know these prices that well for these specific cards. Just throwing out a couple ideas. Icons that you see a lot in Weekend League, again, that are popular, good in game, those could be the ones you look at. But any anywhere else on the market, I would focus on the under 250,000 coin range on cards. Now, a lot of these cards are still up from last week. Here's my first example, Kenny Lala. This card, I remember buying two or three weeks ago at like 12,000 coins and I would flip him for 20K on the weekend. The dude is now 32K. Last week he was 20K, he rose back up to 30. And a lot of cards have gone low and they've risen back up. I'll show you this guy's graph as a perfect example, just because he is one of the only French right backs. And if think about right now with all these people that are getting back on the game of FIFA, maybe they quit during team of the year, or maybe they quit even earlier than that. And they're coming back to a game with not a lot of coins. So there's a lot more increased demand for a guy like this. Kenny Lott, look at this man, 20 K last week, boom to 33, kind of went back down to 29. And now he's been 32, 33 K this whole week. Does he go up to 40K this weekend? I don't think he goes up that high, but you could probably, he might max out at 37K. I just noticed that was his max price range. He could very easily go extinct this week at 37K after rewards. If you can find this guy at 30K flat or below, you know you know he's not gonna go any higher than 37.5, but it's a possibility he could get there. These are the kind of cards that you wanna be looking at this week. Under 250K, this is a perfect example of a card that you would want to look at and try to look for ones that maybe aren't so inflated already. But how do you find those? That's probably your next question. And what kind of cards are we looking for specifically? Just go through some of the team of the weeks. Look at some past team of the weeks, cards that are out of packs and look at cards that are from popular nations, popular leagues that a lot of people use. Havertz is in form, right? You can tell a lot about a card with the number of games played. You know, this guy was in team of the week two weeks ago. He was 81K in packs. He's been over, he's been 100K. What's this guy doing at 92 right now? What is Havertz doing at uh, 92,000 coins right now? Can I go on the market and uh, snag me at Havertz? And like at 90K, is this one on the market? Because this would be a perfect buy. This is kind of what you do. Like you look look through team of the weeks on, on, on Tuesday, or like right now when you watch this video, Wednesday night, it's like perfect time to do it. As you can see, there's no Havertz. I don't see any of the striker Havertz. Um, but this is kind of what you do. You might see a low price like that on the market, or you might see some open bids. And that's the kind of stuff that you can look forward to. 105, there's one with a Havertz right there. But this is the type of card that I would expect to continue. Ooh. There's one, and there's two. Sign me up, dude. The 88 Havertz for 91. I'm, I'm a fan of that, man. I am a fan of that. So I just bought my first two weekend league flips because i think that card could be last week if we go back and take a look at the graph he was uh 87k on friday actually where's this at he was last week he was 84k rose up into the weekend 87 90 000 coins and he's continued rising after that now a lot of this stuff some of these prices we haven't got the new team of the week moments yet we haven't got a new set of team of the week moments that's coming today that's going to affect which cards will rise a little bit you might see some cards when you see team of the week moments released today that could spur you on to go look on the market to see hey what kind of cards are going to link to these new informs or new moments cards that might be usable that's just something to think about uh, but you have to be fast if you're going to do a link investment like that like last week i think we had who was it that came out in team of the week last week it was alaba right it was David Alaba and somebody that went up in price right away was Goretzka and that was actually an inform that I bought last week because Goretzka was like 95k I think um, before the Alaba card came out he rose quickly 
up and over 100k like went to to 110 last week right now he's 113 i bought this card last week a bunch of them on low bids on wednesday night right before rewards for like 100 to 105k and i sold them all at 117 to 120 so that's a really nice that's like 10k a card honestly um for that right there that's a perfect weekend league flip scenario right there you're making 10 to 15 20k a card which is like 10 percent roi uh, that's really solid. 10, 20% ROI is, is beautiful. You're not looking for somebody to go from hundred K to 200 K in the span of like, you know, six or seven hours when we're, when we'll flip these cards after rewards, we're looking for buying a lot of out of packs in forms, a lot of special cards that people will be building teams with. And we're taking small profits over a small amount of time. It's like a quick in and out. Basically, that's what we're doing on these cards. So again, stuff that you can do is look through some old team of the weeks and special cards popular car just look at their graphs right coutinho 72k all right you know there's probably a decent amount of people that buy this card it's an out of packs in form he's from Bayern. he's brazilian he was 59k last week i actually bought this card last week for 55,000 coins and i sold it for like 68 i think right after rewards and, and so these graphs don't always do justice right now though he's already up to 72 so that might be a card you have to avoid because he's only continually rose but just look through some of these, right? Carva Hall. It's it's easy to pick out the ones that are meta, that are overpowered, or that just link well to cards that people already have. And again, big clubs, you know, we're, we're talking Premier League, big clubs, you know, Bayern. There's a lot of Bundesliga special cards. So I, I do a lot of Bundesliga flipping every week because there's a lot of special cards from the Bundes, right? Bruno Fernandez, 368 for the main United special card. This card keeps rising because the player of the month keeps rising in price and people want to use Bruno. Lewandowski, last week, this guy was 200 and like 5, 210K right before weekend league rewards. And he rose very nicely up to 230 after that. So maybe if you see this guy at like 220s uh, and stuff like that, that could be a good one. I want to talk about sell time as well. So we, we've talked about what cards to buy. I want to talk about the sell time as well because that is very very important with these cards too now depending on what happens today in foot content i'm going to back out and look at the loading screen since they put the loading screen out on tuesday they're probably going to update this and give us some more hints today on wednesday that's why i'm not telling you guys to buy these cards until after 6 p.m on wednesday because if we see that loading screen change we might see some more market movements and of course the team of the week moments is going to be a new one team of the week moments two will be out so that's why I want you guys to wait. I do most of my buying, honestly. If you're up at all close to the rewards time, the closer to rewards, the better. I am up here in America. Rewards come out at like 3 a.m. my time. I'm up until like three hours before that. And I am on the market then looking at open bids, looking at undercuts on those types of cards that I, that I exactly just talked about. That's kind of your buy time. And your sell time is usually... Um, in this week, especially it's going to be around this time. We want to sell before 6 PM UK on Thursday. And you could maybe hold off a little bit longer and sell maybe into that night a little bit, but you're not going to want to risk it too much because Thursdays, they usually add more perks or, or not perks, but they usually start to tell us more about what's going to be coming with the promo. So they give us a loading screen that is like, sometimes they put the car design on the loading screen and they actually show like, Hey, this is what's going to be coming out in terms of like a hint, right? So maybe they'll give us like an English car that's 91 rated. It's a striker position. And you're like, okay, who is that going to be? So that when that stuff starts happening, that's when you start to see some of the panic in some areas of the market because people are just going out and they're seeing this loading screen and they're going and selling cards. Icons, they've dropped a little bit. This, this Vera not selling at 2840 is kind of surprising to me. Because that was a fresh Vieira at 2.8, which is usually like a 100K undercut, not selling. Some of the icons have started to kind of waver in price a little, but they're holding their value. If you still have any of these in your in your team, in your club, I would consider getting out of them before, especially if it's an icon moments, uh, before this weekend. Because I do think they're going to hype up this promo a lot. They realize there's a lot of people at home right now and they have an opportunity to drop a pretty sick squad in packs and, and to drop something pretty dope in foot. So, um that's what I would be careful of. But again, your sell time, I keep bouncing around what I'm talking about. Sell time is around 6 p.m. UK just because you don't want to mess around with any panic selling that could start to happen into the night on Thursday and Friday morning when we should see most of the main panic. And I'll be talking about all the stuff we should see on Friday. 
um, later in the week this week. A couple more card types that I want to talk about specifically. Man of the match items and team of the year nominees. You saw me looking up Conte and De Bruyne team of the year nominees. Last week, I flipped this Conte nominee card. I bought him at 294K on an open bid. He was going for 330K last week. So he's actually cheaper uh, this week than he was last week. Right now, he's like 320, I think. Did I see it? I thought I saw one out here at 320. Maybe it expired or got bought. But Conte, this is a card. Obviously, it's Conte, right? It gets bought up a lot. A very popular weekend league player in a lot of people's teams for the weekend league. Here's one right here. Team of the year moments, Conte, 335. Look for the open bids as we get to Wednesday night in foot before rewards, early Thursday morning, UK time. These cards are very rare. A lot of people still use them. Another one, one of my favorites to flip every week, Hyun Min Sun. This guy last week was like 230,000 coins. Right now he is 289 on the market, 288. This guy's jumped up a lot in the past week. I bought him last week for 194 on bid. I ended up selling that for 274 and he's only continued to rise. Again, popular meta FIFA players that have special cards is your big time go-to. Ben Yedder, we're talking, is a great one as well. Um, Aubameyang, you can even look at some gold cards. Like you could look at Sun's gold card, right? Like I think Sun's gold card is somewhere around the range of like 140k ish, 100 maybe at 130. This guy was a hundred thousand coins last week because people thought foot birthday was coming, it did not end up coming. Um, and if you saw this sun, I mean, if we had a pack supply SBC, possibly a guy like Hyunmin Sun, it's kicking me out of foot now. Thank you, EA Sports. Uh, gold cards like a sun, like a Varan, maybe a Sergio Ramos. The only thing that I would be very, very careful of is stay away from those cards that are inflated because of cheapest players by rating for like SBC stuff, right? Like I'm going to flip this animal right here and get back into foot. But like somebody like a gold Koulibaly or a gold Griezmann, I don't know if I would try to flip them this week because they're so inflated because of the mid icon SBC that people might be like, yo, Griezmann's 63K. Do I really want to buy this card? He's up, you know, 20K from last week. That's the kind of card I think I would stay away from because it's up so much already for SBC purposes. Ter Stegen, I would probably stay away from, although I'm kind of intrigued by like Ter Stegen's 91, both of these 91s. If you see this under 100K and if you see this one like at 100K flat, I'm, you know, people are going to see that this Ter Stegen card's 80K. And I think that that could mean the 91, both 91s could go up a little bit, especially the team in the group stage um, because they'll see wait, Gold Terstegen is 80K and this one's only 110K. Why don't I just buy this one for my team this weekend? It's 30K more and it's got a dynamic image, special card. So you might see a card like this go up a little bit extra this weekend because of that. So again, in summary, Thursday flipping, watch and see what happens with the team of the week moments that comes out this week. See if there's any link investments that you can make. Look and see what happens for the 6 p.m. content if we get a loading screen or whatever kind of you know factor that into what cards you might look into buying but then also think about some cards again scroll through some team of the weeks scroll through some out of pack special cards do a little bit of work on your end and you can find some cards from the prem from la liga from the bundesliga those are the main three leagues i would focus on find some cards that have specials on open bids late in the evening on th on, on wednesday before rewards on today before rewards that's the kind of stuff that you want to do. And then aim to sell. The, the biggest key here also is list those cards overnight. This isn't like, okay, I buy the cards. I wait till after rewards. I wake up and I sell them. List them overnight over rewards. List them for six hour time frame. List them for 12 hours. If you have to buy them and list them up and make sure that they are on the market. Because a lot of the sales that I get each week from Thursday flipping, if I like, I bought these Havertz at 92K, I think that he could be, I think he could be 110K. I could get a sale there um, on Thursday before 6 p.m. UK. So I'm going to list this card up for 110, maybe 112,000 coins overnight. And then I'll adjust it down just a tiny bit lower as I get towards 6 p.m. UK as my kind of sell time where I want to get out of all those cards. So that's kind of the gist of Thursday flipping this week. Again, kind of the under 250K budget is where I would want to stay unless you're looking at some icons that are out of packs. Then again, it's just all about finding the meta stuff, finding a good price, open bids, undercuts, man of the matches, 
team of the year nominees and other out of pack special cards. There's so many special card types out there nowadays that it makes it a lot easier to kind of find a specific card that you could zero in on that you that is not inflated already. This Bruno Fernandez actually has my eye this week because the player of the month SBC continues to rise and this card is still like 660. Uh, I know he was closer to 600K before the SBC came out and he was like 630 last week, but I feel like this could be a 700K card plus this weekend. Uh, just because he's got the Man United hype, it's Bruno Fernandez, and this card is actually really good in game. I used him in a draft, and he was he was actually phenomenal. So this card last week rose from like 630, 640 up to 680, and now it's right now back down to 660. So if I could find this in like the 650 undercut, maybe 640 range, I would probably list it up for 700 because I think I could get 700k for that card um, after rewards this week. So again, it's a little bit risky with Foot Birthday. But I do still think the market's going to rise because there are just so many people on this game right now. And when there's not content, what are people going to do? They're going to buy players. They're going to do SBCs. And that's going to that's gonna help us for Thursday flipping this week. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right? It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.